everyone! I am Ate Altea, AK. I am really glad to see you here watching till the last episode of our educational series video. I hope you have absorbed all the topics that our Ates and Kuyas discussed in the previous episodes. And now we're down to the last part or element of a sentence. Again, the first thing you need to do is to look for action verbs. Then look for a noun or pronoun that receives the action of the verb and that will be the direct object. If there is a noun or a pronoun that receives the direct object, then that is the indirect object. Now, let us proceed to the subject complement as also part of a sentence. First of all, complement in English is a word or words that complete the meaning of a word. There are two types of complements in English, subject complement and object complement. A subject complement identifies the subject and gives information about it. It either renames the subject or describes it. Remember, subject complement always comes after a linking verb. For example, Our mentor in English has always been good to us. Our mentor is the subject and good to us is the subject complement. For you to understand it better, ang subject complement ay laging nakasunod sa linking verb. Ang linking verb ang nagkokonekta sa subject at nagbibigay kahulugan sa subject. Ang mga hilimbawa ng linking verb ay is, am, I, was, were, has been, have been, at marami pang iba. For more examples, we have My teacher in English is intelligent. Can you guess the subject? Great! My teacher is the subject. How about the linking verb? linking verb used in this sentence and the subject complement will be Okay, intelligent is the subject complement since it comes after the linking verb and it describes the subject of our sentence. You did great! I guess it is now time to learn about the object complement. Hello again everyone, since Ate Altea already discussed the subject complement, now let us talk about the object complement. An object complement gives information about the direct object and it tells us what the object has become now. It either gives the name to the direct object or it talks about its state by describing it. Tandaan na kung ang subject complement ay laging kasunod ng linking verb, ang object complement naman ay laging kasunod ng direct object. For example, Jane painted her nails red. Nails is our direct object and our objective complement is red. Let us try more examples. Public speaking makes Henry nervous. Our direct object here is Henry, while our objective complement here is nervous. This time you try to guess the parts of the sentence. We consider fish spoiled when it smells like what it is. What is the direct object in the sentence? Very good! Fish is the direct object. And how about our other? Good job! Spoiled is the object complement since it comes after the direct object, which is the fish. That will be all for today's episode, and this will be the last episode of our Parts of a Sentence video series. Thank you for staying with us till the last episode. Learning the English subject might be hard to some of us, but nothing is more exciting than taking the challenge to master the hard one. Come on, Mr. Jantin, see you.